Yo, what's good, young investors, and welcome back to the channel. There's three rules to money that I feel like every single one of us should be familiar with if we want to prosper financially. And those three rules are how to earn money, how to multiply it, and how to protect it. Which, of course, is why in today's video, I'm going to do just that. Go a bit into each one to help build familiarity and to give you guys a quick insight into how the rich and the wealthy really operate. But, of course, before I do that, I wanted to quickly hit you guys with today's gem of the day. And, of course, today's gem of the day is invest in yourself. More specifically, Specifically though, your knowledge. It's the one thing that nobody can take away or copy from us. I really believe that what we know defines what we do with ourselves. And of course, the more we know, the higher our potential is. Read books, ask questions, and try things. I'm telling you guys, always seek to learn new things. And of course, that's today's gem of the day. I hope you guys enjoyed that. And lastly, if you guys could do me a huge favor and hit today's video with a quick like, it really lets me know that you guys are enjoying the content and you're finding it useful as well. So thank you guys, I appreciate you. And without further ado, Let's get into the gems in today's video. So, first things first, how to actually earn more money. And the solution to this is actually quite simple if you think about it. The solution is solving problems. Now, what exactly do I mean by this? The car industry lacked innovation. Elon Musk brought that. The phone and technology industry really lacked trailblazing tech in the early 2000s. And of course, Steve Jobs and Apple actually fixed that with the first iPods and the first iPhones as well. Lastly, there was huge spikes in internet usage in the 90s and early 2000s, with very little e-commerce to go along with it since the internet was relatively new. So of course, Jeff Bezos solved that problem and brought Amazon.com to life, and he actually started off selling books. There's actually early interview footage of Jeff Bezos, which is cool and pretty crazy as well, knowing how big Amazon actually turned out to be. But are you guys actually seeing the pattern here? Look what the marketplace is in need of and actually provide that solution. And you don't need to be the one inventing the next self-driving car either. A great example of this is the gold rush. The people looking for the gold weren't the ones that were striking it big. It was the ones that were selling them the shovels. I also remember seeing a video on YouTube of a young entrepreneur based in London cutting hair through a van. He found a way to make it affordable affordable, convenient, and a great experience as well. On top of this, he actually started to scale his business and started a four to five van operation cutting hair all throughout London. This guy actually turned his business into the Uber of cutting hair. I'm telling you guys, man, opportunities actually out there. All we really gotta do is start looking for it. I'll also have the barber video linked in the description below. It's an absolutely great idea in my opinion. I got another example for you guys. Back at my old high school, snacks were limited and students weren't really bringing their own food from home. So of course, a few people People saw the demand and all they did was supply the goods. They were really making hundreds a week selling chips and candy at school during break. It's simple economics you guys. Look for high demand in something with very little supply and in turn become that person. That goes for here on YouTube or for any other venture that you guys actually end up doing. Now moving forward protecting your money and your assets. There's this thing called an LLC or a limited liability company that a vast majority of wealthy individuals use to protect themselves and their assets as well. The owners of Walmart and Bill Gates to name a few. Now, what does a limited liability company actually do? What an LLC actually does is provide asset protection by putting you and your investments separate from each other. What these wealthy people will do is transfer all of their assets into the LLC and in turn, make them separate from each other on paper. Just about every significant asset that these guys own is transferred into the LLC. And of course, who actually owns the LLC? The person that set it up. They prefer control over ownership since having ownership puts you in a vulnerable position. You'd basically be considered a deep pocket target for lawsuits when your investments are in your name. Even if the wealthy people are sued, the lawyers are eventually going to find out that they have LLC set up for all of their assets and in turn would most likely want to go for a cash settlement instead. Since seizing assets from an LLC through a personal lawsuit is just a huge pain overall. Even crazier you guys, an LLC can actually own multiple other LLCs, which is called an umbrella of LLCs. This basically takes asset protection to a whole new level. I shit you not. Donald Trump has over 500 LLCs. Time and time again, I've actually told you guys, these wealthy folk are playing in a whole different type of ball game that you guys watching now can actually take part of. That's the crazy part. We just gotta invest in our knowledge. There's a huge curtain that's available for each and every one of us to open. We just gotta have the guts to step up and look. I also have a video dedicated to how the wealthy protect their investments. If you guys would like to check that out, I'm gonna have it linked in the description below. I highly recommend it. And now, of course, number three, how to actually multiply your money. The very first way to do it, invest. Investing your money into assets that multiply in value over time like stocks and real estate. Now. This is actually the part of the game that the wealthy tend to really shine in. 
The system they go by to get out the mud is actually quite simple. Live below your means and invest the rest. These guys will invest into assets that generate them more money and in turn use that revenue to reinvest it to buy into more assets to eventually buy whatever they want. What they do is build their assets and then in turn leverage them to buy liabilities. They don't use money that they worked for to buy liabilities. You just won't see that happening. And as for finding the right investments, look for things people need and in turn find out who owns these products and see if you can invest in the company or not. For example, my Hispanic family. We've been using Vaporu to cure just about anything. And guess who owns these guys? A company called Procter & Gamble. They also happen to own just about every single other essential household item. And better yet, these guys are actually a company that we can invest in through the stock market. I'm telling you guys, educating ourselves is everything nowadays. This is the type of game that I'm trying to give you guys so we can in turn feed ourselves and our families for generations to come. Now, another way to earn more money is to scale or expand your business if you happen to have one. And when I say business, don't get discouraged. I don't mean a Fortune 500 company with a thousand employees. You could be mowing lawns for all I care. All you gotta do is focus on building a bigger clientele. Once you guys do that, you can hire more people to mow lawns. Now you're in multiple places at once and you're getting paid for every job. Now this is the blueprint. Build something and once that gets big enough, leverage it to build something bigger and repeat the process. And that's a quick snippet into how the rich actually operate. I'm really hoping that you guys are finding these videos is useful and entertaining as well. Best believe I'm gonna hit you guys with game until I can. Of course, like the video if you found it useful and subscribe to the channel if you've learned anything in today's video. I make weekly information filled videos for you guys. So thank you, I appreciate every single one of you and of course beat the odds and do the numbers. I'll catch you guys on the next one, peace.